Hello class. Welcome to Miss Kramer's art class. I'm gonna sign my name, Miss Kramer. <coughs> art class. Welcome. Today we have a really simple lesson. Won't you sign your name if you're gonna draw with me? Remember, no name, no fame. And maybe you have a class code. Don't forget to put your class code. And let me show you some examples from my third grade classes. They created, did some amazing geometric artwork using rulers. And they use diagonal lines, horizontal lines, and vertical lines to create shapes, triangles, trapezoids, squares and rectangles and then they colored and shaded using crayons or oil pastels depending or colored pencils and this one is by chloe she did an amazing job and she's still not finished we're gonna keep adding to the layers this is from annabelle very interesting. Look at that triangle. Isn't that amazing? Wow, and look at this one. Here we have Aria. Oh, wow. And look at those bright triangles, the way they come together. And it looks like a geometric star right here. It's very intricate. Look all the things that you can do. And I'm sorry, there's a lot of glare. But I hope you can see this fine. And we use blue construction paper and a white pencil and a regular ruler. You can use a plastic ruler or a wooden ruler. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I have my crayons ready, but I still want to keep showing you. Um, this student used freehand. And it's okay if you don't like using rollers. You can also freehand it. Look at that interesting design. Isn't that amazing? This is Skin's Light. And then this one is from Lane. What a wonderful artwork. This one even has a smiley face. So he's creating a face with some textures on top. So first layers, we're going to do colors. And then we're going to take dark black pencils and we're going to create some more textures inside of those spaces like that. And here we have Nasir. <coughs> and here we have a really nice work of art, visual work of art, very geometrical. And he is creating shape. It's one of smiling faces. And this is easy to pair with our mood meter. So you can easily pair this with the colors how you feel like for example this can be map of your heart your body or just your mind and these are the different compartments of all the different feelings of how you feel and you can be orange creative and you can be gray green which is uh, peaceful you can be a little tired here in purple we can be a little blue or you don't have to think about it as an emotion. You can just create geometrical shapes and they don't have to have a smiley face on. If you don't want yours, it can be completely something else. For example, here, Katie, she created a more of a grid system and each one has a little video game and things that she like hard. And she will continue working on that. Italian. <coughs> did something similar here with some corners and he's going to keep working on that and here's Diego so don't rush when you fill this in make sure that you don't leave too many spaces and fill it nicely so it looks, it looks nice and neat because if you color it really nicely like this it has a better effect but if you like that kind of messy look a little bit rushed look that's okay if that's what you like okay so but think about the neatness look too and just decide like which one you want to do okay because this one 
it's a different look, okay? But it's really creative. So great job, Diego. I like all the lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines. Diagonal lines are this way. Horizontals are, again, side to side. Diagonal are up and down. Sorry, uh, diagonal. It's been a long day. Diagonal are from one side to another on an angle. Horizontal are like horizon where you see the sun. And vertical is up and down. Up and down is vertical. I was just thinking ahead of myself a little. And here there is Alex. And he created two different planes. So on this side he has... Um, like it looks like it's separated into two parts. And you can see it's really interesting design. With long rectangles, longer triangles. And elongated shapes, really nice. This one was one of my favorites. And he put the name on top. We were supposed to put it on top. So the design goes something like this. It's going upwards, like almost like a rocket. Or some interesting architectural design. And look at those colors. Each one is different. And the way it's positioned. So you can really make some really awesome art with this technique. Okay? And so I hope you got inspired. And I'm just going to put Liam's art here as an example. And after you sign your art, go ahead. It's not difficult and don't overthink it. If you have a special shape in mind, you can think about it. Uh, it's something like a landscape that you're trying to do or a star or a horizon sunrise sunset or it's more like a cityscape maybe or it's abstract design architectural design you can think of it but the ruler will help you make the lines and help you make it happen okay so and you can limit you can even use lines that you don't use a ruler with or if you're confident making straight lines, remember I showed you some examples, or go ahead and actually help yourself use these rulers so that it's definitely a straight line. You can vary the angles, angles of your artwork so that it looks like it's a 3D shape. Uh, you can be shading it and using values and we talked about values so what are values so you're gonna push really hard on one end and then you're gonna shade it and make it very soft on the other hand on the other side where it kind of blends in or use a lighter shade where it gives you a little bit of a blending look of one color like that you can do that or incorporate <clears throat> just blending with one color and white so if you just wanted to do white with gr uh, some gray creating some gray so i don't have a yeah i do have a white crayon here i have a little piece I could be blending just black and gray, and that's an idea if I just want to incorporate using monotones. What are monotones? It's just one color, tones of one color. Okay, <clears throat> it's completely up to you um, as how you finish it. Okay, so take your time coloring everything. Create something interesting and don't be afraid to experiment. And now it's your turn.